Hello everybody, this is Robert again. I'm back with tutorial number three. I'm going to talk a little bit about drumming and programming drumming with Muse. Uh, I have already started a bit here. I've started Muse and I've loaded my favorite drum plugin, Addictive Drums. And now I'm going to continue by right clicking here and adding a drum track like that. Now we have a track here that's prepared for drumming. And uh, I'm also going to right click around here to create a little space here. And I'll double click in between to create our first little empty part. Then I'll double click on that one to open it. And here we are with the drum editor. Uh, okay, that looks... Look, we have sound. Now we're going to do one more thing. I'm going to load, load uh, a drum map that I have prepared for the addictive drum. That one. And Perhaps you noticed that there's a s small problem with the drum maps in that it contains the port information. And when I created this drum map, it used the port number two, which is no longer correct. So what I will do is that I will hold the control key and I will right click with the mouse around here. And I will uh, select the addictive drum instead. I hold the, the control key to change all of them at once. Otherwise I will have to change them individually. Now we have uh, the right order for this uh, drum plugin. So we have different types of snares here. And so on. Like that. Okay, we're pretty much um, on our way. We have sound. Now we're going to do it like this. We're going to click the loop button and I'll press play here. Just so we can play a little bit with uh, our drum loop. So I add, uh, I just click, I, I have, uh, I select the, the pencil. I can use D and I add the drum here. I can add the drum, the bass drum there. And we can add uh, one of these snares around there. And one there. And we can take this hi-hat for instance. And create a, a straight beat. Okay, we'll do a little bit of a trick here. I can stop the playback for a second. Uh, I select the arrow again, and I select all of these. I hold down the shift key and drag to create copies. And I add them like this. We're going to uh, uh, change the velocity for every other hi-hat beat. We can listen to this first. Not too bad. If you open up this, the control button down here, it opens up uh, so we can change the velocity. By default, it shows velocity. We can select, oh, it has millions of parameters. So uh, I think we will pick that one. And I will select the draw tool. And I will, um, we, we, we could use the, uh, no, sorry, it's not available in this editor. In the MIDI editor, there are also a line draw, but I usually only use the pen tool. I, I like when it, it's not exactly the same for all the, all the div different notes. Um, so let's try it. Ah. Swings much better. We can add a little bit more flavor to this. About a drum there. And perhaps a drum there. And what about one there? It 
just an example, so maybe I'm overloading it a little bit, but we can add a little bit and a few more snares at the end. That didn't sound too good. If we select that one and make them a little, a little different. Like that, perhaps. Something like that. Could be the start of something big. Well, that's about it for this tutorial. Thank you. Bye.